that's the reggae that I know. That's the reggae I want to produce. That's the reggae I want to share with the world. I want to share a music that is stimulating positive change through introspection. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I can say it any other way. That's my intent. Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. Hey everyone, it's James. For this special episode, I reconnect with Klata Bumbo to give you all a preview of his new album, Make Way Rasta, which will be available on November 24th. In our conversation, we go track by track, talking about the inspiration and meaning behind this impressive and important record. Plus, you'll get to learn about all that went into the making of this album and the studios that he worked with. If you want to learn more about Klata's music history, please check out the interview from earlier this summer that we did together and support him by heading to klatabumbo.com. Thanks. As I got deeper in the process of producing this record, I'm realizing that I wasn't just making it for Rastafari people or mm -hmm. quote-unquote black people, so to speak, but I was making this record for anyone who ever feel like they've been oppressed. Uh, mm -hmm. anyone who ever felt like they were they were a victim they were victimized or uh, anyone anyone in the diaspora not necessarily people of the caribbean base nor people of africa but anyone who have anyone who has left their their place their home to come to this this side of the world for quote unquote better life uh -huh. and and um you know when when we unpack it then it goes right back to what is the responsibility of, of, of Rastafari people as it relates to reggae music? You know, what what is the responsibility of reggae music? You and I touched that touched on this when we were when we did our, our, our original our original conversation. And this album is literally to say, yo, reggae music is really more than more than smoking weed, you know. It's really more than Yeah. yeah. It's really more than um eating vegetable. Yeah, and and tell everybody else what like to eat. Partying on the beach or whatever. Or partying yeah, on yeah. the beach, especially yeah. especially as we as we are we're, we're talking about this is a Rhode Island podcast and this focuses on Rhode Island artists and Rhode Island movements as it relates to these parts. Reggae music is more than bikinis. It's really mm -hmm. more than that. It it it's the music that is supposed to be carrying the message to to keep the lights on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as you kind of just mentioned, yeah, so the first track on this album is the, the title track, Make Way Rasta. And yeah, it covers a lot about generational change, freedom. Um, yeah, can you talk? Uh, and there's a lot of like recurring messages, you know, through this. Yes, it seems yes. like, you know, that I'm assuming that was intentional just for like having this be a learned experience that this isn't like this song is covering this one topic one time, but it was like, you know, a lot of these things what you'd hear throughout the album. But yeah, can you just talk a little yeah, bit about man. that like generational so, change piece and you know what so, you mean by that and why it's necessary? Gener gener generational generational freedoms. The term generational freedoms, um, you know, um generational change, generational wealth, mm -hmm. generational um focus. It's you know, no one really talks about generational poverty. No one, no one, uh -huh. no one talks about the cycle of racism. No one talks about the cycles of oppression. And if they do, it's in academic spaces. So it doesn't really reach the reggae listener. It doesn't really reach the reggae fan. Mm -hmm. it, it, it Rastafari, in essence, where I'm from, don't really, unless they are like positioned in the University of the West Indies or places of higher learning, don't really deal with the cycle of things mm -hmm. it's 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 it, there's a lot of dogma underground so speaking of when i when i come up and say you know make way for generational progress make way for generational freedoms it's re i'm really saying bro let's break the cycle of mm -hmm. blaming of 
I'm not saying don't talk about racism. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying let's break the cycle of blaming someone for our present position, given that we've had multiple generations to, to make a change, you know? And yeah. that goes that goes for all people. Um, that goes for the children in the household who have grown up to be adults and instead of making way for changes with their own children, they blame their parents for what they've been through, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, in a nutshell, making way Rasta, yes, speak to Rasta people, but this is a trap that is saying, look at what's going on in terms of the cycles, you know? Mm -hmm. if you, you, won't, you can't wake up and be free because you want to be free. You have to wake up and, and know that it's a choice. It's work. It's clear. It's a clearing. It's um, it's a stepping, knowing that you're stepping on a path that you you know is secure because your eyes are open, and mm -hmm. you, you know you you realize that you're a part of the cycle. You're complicit in the cycle until you are making moves to to shift it. You know, yeah. yeah. So make make way for generational progress. Don't just make way for yourself. Don't think. Don't just be about the nine to five and how much money you can save and when you can retire. Rasta people especially. We have to wake up every day and realize it's our responsibility as parents, as elders, to teach the young to understand that they themselves are our responsibility to carry on traditions, to, um, to understand what it means to work, to understand what it means to, to plant seeds, to nurture, to, to protect, to harvest, to, to store, basically. Mm -hmm. The next track, the sounds, um, you know, it it's yeah, talking about that more about like the revolution, about upward upward movement. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let this be the sound to wake the people. Let this be the sound to keep them awake. Let this be the sound to start the revolution. No, let's we can unpack the word revolution. Revolution mean change. You don't mean you don't mean doesn't necessarily mean that blood have to run down the street mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's not you know it, you know like burning the burning of the books was a part of a revolution when 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 regime changes and and decide that they want to hammer maybe a dictator or whatever decide they want to hammer down the law what they do they 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 kill culture mm -hmm. you know you know reggae music still have the responsibility to underscore what it means to to be cognizant of of what it means to be a people, what it means to be a person. So yes, reggae music is the sound. And I'm hoping that this revolution will be that someone is going to take a chance to look at themselves. Introspection, you know, yeah. intro, more, more so introspection than it is, you know, I don't think the word gun come up on that, on that album once. No. Um, swords, no. Spears, no. Bullets, no ammunition no no it's, yeah. it's 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 really about it's really about introspection yeah. no exactly that again and that's kind of i mean not only is it just yeah like a, a a big topic but just like your perspective on that and almost like the audience of who you were speaking to uh seemed different you know like it, it was revolution like obviously there's the revolution of like we as people we're going to get together and we're going to go fight against this this other evil we're going to choose this other thing it seems like a lot of what you're talking about is like that recognition of that revolution is can come from and yeah. needs to come from like within your own community within yeah, your own with your own self you know like you need it, to recognize that's, you know, it, that's so. it because there's a cultural revolution happening you know right now as we speak you know and you you ask before we got on air you asked the question of how did the show go when i just performed at the parlor um mm -hmm. a few nights ago and um yeah i was talking in my set about cancer culture um privileges um the threats of world war and these are the things i was talking about on stage granted in a in a palatable way because mm -hmm. 
because as you know this man you're you're into media you understand iconoclasm what what does it mean for them to tear down statues and you know especially in great britain right now which is a large chunk of my market or or i would say where my audience my audiences are you know there's big change happening on the ground big change is happening on the ground in all the major universities oxford's you name it there are changes happening and the changes are part and parcel of wokeness cancer culture yeah erase history so we can start on a new page but if you take away if you take away your memory then who are you you know yeah the sound the sound is saying come on man the revolution starts with listening to this irie music i'm bringing you mm -hmm. you know come yeah. down to the come down to the rest in heart rate and see if you can find some level of introspection you know yeah. that the change the change starts with you change yeah. starts with how you think you know it's a way of thinking it's 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 preparing oneself to collaborate so you may have a change mm -hmm. you know not necessarily bums and boots on the ground mm -hmm. rastafari i don't advocate for war never i never mm -hmm. will it's it's really it's always rastafari is always saying come on people we can do this together let's break bread over conversation and, and get it moving you know let this be the sound to wake the people let this be the sound to keep them away let this be the sound that start the revolution, revolution. let this be the sound to set the record straight Yeah, following up with that, calling to the people. <laughs> this one has, you know, I guess I'd say a little bit more of like a hip hop feel to it. You know, to kind of break a little bit from some of the, um, you know, or just a, you know, introducing new sounds to to your, you know, amazing reggae sound that you have there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one you're like sounds like you're literally speaking to your community. Um, you know, got laying out what needs to be done uh, to for that change. You know, um, and you know try to paraphrase you here you know but you know you have like the line like all we need we already have um <laughs> it's just yeah. i mean it's it's just brilliant um uh, of just that you know like, again like just why i love this record is just that, like how powerful it is that it's it's just you know hopefully like please anyone that's listening to this like take some time and like listen to this album like if, if someone takes a deep listen to this album there's a lot of amazing things that you're covering um or like what you said that this is you know you, you know uh, a more universal thing you know that this is just yeah. anyone that has like a, a struggle that this can just be what that is um yeah, because man. that is something you know i mean uh of just being able to overcome that so yeah i'd love to hear you kind of talk a little bit more uh about that or just um you know just again that line you know all we need we already but, have yeah, just so, brilliant, you know? so so you know coming up to that line my people let's stop looking to the source of our problems to find change mm -hmm. if not our children shall never ever be free all we need we already have its strategies how they keep us mad yeah again my my predispositions where i came from has postured me to look on everything with a microscope and go through every situation with a fine tooth comb whereas and here we go now coming up with cultural and psychological psychosocial terminologies so for example white privilege white privilege doesn't affect me per se because mm -hmm. i have an understanding of of what of what it means what what imperialism is what you know class disadvantages are you know in, in and, and and in some sense this this project is is, is political you know mm -hmm. i don't I, I don't i don't say it's a political project per se but it deals with the different strata of society you know and that's why i can say to my people wake up no man if you have land and your land is fertile and you have a water source 
and you have your community, then we should literally be planting seeds mm -hmm. in communion. That that's one perspective. All we need, we already have. Mm -hmm. Um, many people are running around trying to find community, even in their privileged state, in in Rhode Island, in the first world. And the big the beg is always, I need community. I need to find community. So I'm gonna go do yoga. And 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 then they change that person changed their yoga studio four or five times in a month because the community doesn't fit right. Come mm -hmm. on, if if you if a if a person would actually slow down to be, they will realize that you know it's not it's not jumping from one yoga studio to the next. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. it's it's really to look at what you have. When was the last time you pick up the phone and call your mom? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe maybe that's what you need to do. Call your mom. Call your mom yeah. and say, Hey mom, what's up? You know, hey dad. You know, call yeah. your brother. Hey, you wanna go see a movie, bro? You know, that's it. That that that's that that's the introspection. Family, yeah. community. That's what this 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 record so far down the list. That's that's all this record is saying. Yeah. And it will and it will underscore it all the way through. It, yeah. It's yeah. that recurring the recurring theme of all we need we already have yeah you know is you know so for those that that haven't checked out the the previous interview uh you know you are from jamaica yes sir um, is that uh you know some of the the perspective that you're seeing with this i mean like having your your history coming from jamaica and that now being here in in america like those types of um approaches to life and you know like the you know these first world problems is that something that that you see is um like overly apparent um and and kind of comes into your songwriting in a sense of just you know yeah so looking like back at i'm sure that there's not people that are going to like striving to find the the next yoga studio or whatever that you know it seems that there's a lot <laughs> in jamaica that you just you know at least for my i've never been you know i admittedly i've never been but so, just, you know so what seems to follow around families you know that so yeah first world problems are third world for third world people's dilemma disaster yeah yeah when, when and and um i look at it to say when i came to the united states of america i got my parables turned on literally um so for example in jamaica they'll say if you want good your nose have to run which means it made sense to me when I moved to the US when I'm out here working in the cold when I'm delivering pizza to make my bills for the month, you know. So um literally my nose is running from the cold. I am from the equator, then I come here and I have to tile in the snow. I mean, yeah, yeah, if you want good, your nose have to run. That's literally yeah. that literally makes sense to me. Literally. Yeah. And <laughs> um, you know, um the, 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 you know, my grandmother would say, if you're struggling in america don't be afraid to come home foreign is not for everyone mm -hmm. which she's simply saying first world cut first world first world first world principles are not necessarily for you mm -hmm. you know do you have the education are you ready to, to be educated to deal with the first world well fortunate for me i'm the type of person who who is into history and i went back to school when i came here and all that so my perspective, yes, my perspective on first world problems, first world issue, is because I have a third world beginning. Mm -hmm. I am, I am poised to say, as I see, even though palatable is so, because I'm from the third world. Mm -hmm. I I swear that I do understand that a reggae band from Rhode Island would not approach the reggae music the way I have, because mm -hmm. they are more of um they, they they would more likely be coming from what was popular on radio or or what record labels are pushing or they really and truly want to play something that is not going to agitate anyone yeah understanding that reggae music can be um a a a a, a, a disrupting factor yeah. or a point for disruption thus me having to delve deeper into songwriting I have mm -hmm. to delve deeper in song structure. I have to delve deeper into into what 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 drum pattern is going to bring the listener to a point where they are going to listen to my message. Yeah, you know. So yes, my perspective my perspective on reggae music is because of my third world beginnings. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and my access to the first row. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you're right. I mean, just the lived experience uh, is always going to resonate uh, more, you know, when it's coming from that authentic place. And, and uh, yeah. And, and you if know. you try to go around it, if you try, if I try to go around it, then I would be not organic, not authentic. Yeah. All we need, we already have. It's strategies how they keep us mad. Look how we find easy taking our brother's life. It's time we see the light. Oh, people. My people. Calling on the people. My people. My people. Fourth track on the album, Give I Strength. Uh, just it has like a much more of like a spiritual feel to it yes um you know a song of gratitude and appreciation you know kind of for what's around um yeah you know it's still kind of like you know looking yeah looking for strength obviously you know it's kind of like a petition um but yeah can you just uh kind of you know that's yeah a little bit more of like a, a shift in the album it's kind of what you're talking about those you yeah, know, first tracks yeah. on something now this one yeah. is kind of looking for um you know how these things come together uh at yeah, least so in my experience you know like if i needed to have change i needed to kind of there's only so much i can do myself but i needed to have some you know external you know spiritual assistance yes. with that stuff too yes. so this kind of yes. seems like yes. a very proactive thing that you know and a necessary thing so yeah I'm yes you talk about so it. so give i strength give i strength Give I strength. Yes. Um, as as a student of Rastafari, as a Jamaican, um, Rastafari would, 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 would say, I and I. And that means that can be interpreted and unpacked to say, I am, I see you, you see me. We are in the same space, in the same time. We are, we have the same risk. We have the same opportunity to make a change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Rastafari also sees Ja, the Almighty mm -hmm. One, the giver of life, the creator of all living things, the giver of the sun, the moon, the water, the breeze, you name it, time, energy, the whole works. I am Ja, and Ja is I. So we are we are one in the same. Um, Rastafari people find god in in oneself we don't look outside to find to find that uh -huh. power that divine power is within divine strength is a song of introspection also it's you know introspection keeps coming back in in in, in the project and even though we say give me little strength oh ja i need mm -hmm. to be fortified you know god help those who help themselves mm -hmm. And the same thing apply right across the religion, the, it, right across the religion spectrum, irrespective yeah. of who you praise. The the great, the great almighty, the creator of all things is going to help those who help themselves. So even though we say, we wake up and we say, give me little strength, oh ja, I need to be firm and strong. Prayer, praying, have power and as, a, as an intelligent, more intelligent person now, as I'm talking to you right now, I can, I can safely debate that the prayer is the actual power. The fact that you are going to wake up and have the affirmations or to affirm to oneself to say, Ja, I need help. I need help. <laughs> Admitting that you need help may give you a gateway to the solution that you need to find. Mm -hmm. You know? So Absolutely. all we need, yeah. so so it comes, it comes, it comes again. It loops again. All we need, we already have. Yeah. Sound, and then the intro, the intro in Give Us Strength is saying, "Sounds of nature reminds me, I am alive and well." You know. Yeah. It, so I have, to, I have to be ready. I am alive and well. I, I recognize that nature is around. I recognize that even though I'm in the first world con confines, which is where I wrote these songs. I could still hear the birds from the window in the morning saying, mm -hmm. hey, buddy, there's life. Let's go. You know, we're in the concrete jungle to wake up to the struggle and, and, and the struggle of the cold, the struggle of the struggle of not being paid enough, the struggle of car not working, struggle of being pulled over by the cop for whatever reason. Yeah, 
give me a little strength to Oja. Fortify me. At the end of the day, I have to do that myself. You know? That's mm -hmm. how Ja is going to help me. You know? So it's 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 spiritual in its nature, but it's it's still an introspective yeah, yeah. approach to living. Yeah. When we when we understand or when we unpack our faith or when we unpack you know the teachings in our in our respective religion we, we still have to do good in order for good to follow us yeah so yeah. yeah man it's a big it's a begging for it's a begging for introspection it's a begging for for the will for the yeah. will to wake up tomorrow yeah yeah or just yeah it seems it's like the the recognition of just the the work that needs to be done as, yes as people, you know that there is you yes, know it's a very um you know uh common thing that that people will and it just covers other stuff of like if this person did something differently or if this changed or if this other you know yes. it's always like these external things happened or or just you know yeah praying to whatever praying to god and just and then just kind of leaving it there like well i prayed you know it's like well actually there's you know prayer is an action you know like prayer is yeah you know, <laughs> so, so like so it's that, just so like if you're actually of... grateful if you're spiritual it's like how are you living your life mm -hmm. versus it's not just you know going to a, mm -hmm. a room and, and praying for you know five minutes or 30 minutes or an hour or whatever and then leaving and be like all right well i'm all set now i prayed you know and it's like there's it's yeah, all and, of these things and, come and, together and, and, you know? and that uh, affirmation true prayer understanding that there is there there is a greater force at play you know i yeah I'll, I'll give you an i'll give you i'll give you an instance i go to wayland square for my breakfast because my office is on wayland square and every time i go on wayland square and i have i have a less than desirable experience the word that the words that come out of my mouth is judger and that and and it's 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 a double healing of that greater energy to say you see what i'm going through right now it's yeah. not like a, you see what i'm going through right now and you see that i'm trying my best please yeah. give me some strength to walk out of this room yeah and yeah not, and, and not behave in a way that they would expect me or <laughs> or would mark me to behave you know yeah please please help me to find my diaphragm oja and that is <laughs> that that term is cha cha you know <laughs> and I got it you, has, yeah. so so when when most people would would go <sighs> and make a big sigh you know for us it's to remember i prayed to you great one this morning before i left my house please yeah. i'm asking you for strength but, yeah. it, but but it still goes back to the work you have to do mm -hmm. you know and it's to get up it's to get up and move it's to get up and realize that if ja is going to help you if Allah is going to help you, if whosoever the God is, is going to help you, mm -hmm. you have to first help yourself. Give me a little strength, oh, ja, please. I'm begging you for strength, oh, ja. Give me a little strength, oh, ja. I need to be fortified. Yes. Give me a little strength, oh, ja, please. I'm for strength, oh, ja. Give me a little strength, oh, ja. I need to be firm and strong. You know, that kind of leads into the next track, Be Strong. Um, you know, like the, the, the line, uh, you know, I'm too tired to pray, like kind of makes me tear up a little bit. Uh, but it's kind of like what you're saying of you know like the songs you know and i'd love to hear you talk a little bit more about the inspiration but it, it almost just talks about that uh almost just being completely deflated from these things you know of like continuously trying to do some of this stuff or um you know like almost this kind of like hamster wheel of of things that that at least can you know can happen i, I mean I, i've had that lived experience of some you know negative stuff so maybe i'm completely off off base with that you know but i just th that line always kind of hits me in, in a in a personal way maybe just because of my own uh stuff yeah, like, man. You know, yeah um, man yeah man yeah man yeah man you know when i asked you when i shoot you, i shot you that email and asked you if you would if you would have a discussion with me on this rhode island project you know it's it's very important to me that you said yes because you know 
apart from apart from the lack of um community in in the reggae sphere in rhode island new england at large apart from that lack of community you know i know that the music that was created on the rock called jamaica and have have taken on the influences of the american sound the blues jazz you look at all these other music and see what they have done for the demographic in which they were created for or by the people who were who were creating this kind of music it, it all comes from oppression mm -hmm. you know yes we love Bach and we love beethoven and we love all the greats but they too had a level of oppression mm -hmm. music music musicians are culture builders they are culture shapers artists are culture builders and culture shapers maybe visual performing um recording you name it but you know be strong be strong is really true it's really true bro i am too tired to pray sometime and the tiredness the tiredness is not for for want of complaining or for want of saying our life is too hard most times it's really some things that you experience out there bro like it suck out your energy man mm -hmm. suck out your energy man collaboration i'm big on collaboration i beg for collaboration and the, the, the changes you know the transactional existence you know where it's not even so much about money but it's it's really about it, it's more about a man don't realize where or understand where you're coming from when you say yo it's not really about the money in no, bro can you can can you help me to do this can we do this can we do this together mm -hmm. yes and then a man just turn off and then you have to carry the burden on your own because yeah we're coming from a different different predisposition and we know what it means to work and yes immigrants this song was made for immigrants mm -hmm. this song was made for the man from jamaica who come here and and under the understanding that things would be better but the only the only better there is around here is opportunities and access mm -hmm. you work your finger to the bone i don't know how many people can relate to that but mm -hmm. i have come and seen it and if it wasn't for the sake of the most high that higher energy that higher power you know then then i would have i would have fallen fallen flat on my face if it mm -hmm. wasn't for the reggae music i would have fallen flat on my face mm -hmm. i have fallen flat on my face and i was able to wake up and get up because i have i have that reggae sound in me and i have all the other greats to listen to but yeah man the tiredness i speak of in this track it's just survival mm -hmm. And the landlord call you up and say, yo, the government raised the taxes, you know, so I'm going to raise the rent $250. And he said, $250? And he say, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can take many angles as to why he put the rent up, but that's not the point. The rent was raised. So let's go. Yeah. Phases and changes, trials and crosses. Yeah. Everywhere I turn, tribulation comes. More while. I'm yeah. too tired to pray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? It's really about the struggles that we face as mm -hmm. immigrants, mm -hmm. as minority people. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. That song was written for the people who, who really struggles and struggle not because for the lack of trials or for a lack of wanting to move. But the, the, the thing is stacked against us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I want to sing about it because I know a lot of people can relate. Everywhere me turn, tribulation come More wise I'm too tired to pray Yes, I Living life is a struggle Hustling double Keeping fit and strong just to keep the pace There's no one to render a hand Doing it all by myself But you are good yeah well what you were just you know mentioning kind of leads is you know good segue to the next track which is digital dystopia of <laughs> more of like the modern ways of control you know that there are still yes. 
um, you know, however you want to put it, you know, that those that are above us, the, the 1%, the whatever, you know, um, you know, so yeah. Can you, you know, talk about that track and, and, you know, uh, digital dystopia came to, came to the fore when I was listening to, um, a member of parliament in the Australian government, his name is, his, I think his last name is antic. And he was, he, he had this rant about um, how they were making smart parks and um, smart streets and everybody's trying, the you know, world governments are trying to catch up with how, how to better control their population. Mm -hmm. And um, I follow a lot of British media. Um, I follow a lot of British conservative media and I pay close attention to what is happening in Jamaica. Digital Dystopia came to the fore when Antique was ranting and also at the bud at the sprouting of the, the the global pandemic which we which we all had to face and and continue to face the ramifications of those two years um i was looking also into where do i get my information and how do i get my information yeah, and, how, okay. and how information is so on our fingertips right underneath our noses and i find that my people when i say my people you know even though I don't subscribe, I don't subscribe to blackness, but black people are my people by default. I am realizing that the music that was coming, that is coming out of Jamaica, carries a certain kind of energy that doesn't transcend to first world ears or first world palate. And it doesn't okay. sit, it doesn't sit well with first world um 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 um, um proprioceptive muscles, you know, like roots reggae, a marley, you can put on a marley. And you know, one love. You can put on one love and walk your dog and come back feeling better for the mere fact that you listen to one love. You know, Jamaica is no longer doing that. Jamaica is producing what digital dystopia wants. Uh-huh. What TikTok wants, what Instagram wants. Yeah. Everybody is after the views. Everybody is is after how quick they can become famous, not realizing. That is, these are the same mediums that are hampering the wealth and riches they all seek. You know, the days when dollars and cents used to be the form of payment. Now it's micro, micro deposits. Yeah. You know, yeah. point, point, that, that, that up the cents. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so the deeper we go into the rabbit hole, the less, the less benefit there, they, they are to, yeah. Yeah. To, to, to everything we do. And 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 we can we can look on we can look on the advent of video games, we can look on the advent of um, interactive smart TVs, smart TVs. You know, what what has that done to our children? You know, even though the technology has put you and I in the same room virtually, look at yeah. what it has done to our children generally. You know, yeah. we can we can talk about obesity, we can talk about the abuse of drugs, we can talk about the abuse of fast food. We can talk about the abuse of marijuana. Look at what look at what technology has done with marijuana. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody who anybody who is not seeing this as a digital dystopia, bro. I don't I don't know I don't know what world they are living in. Maybe they yeah. are, maybe they're over there on the on the virtual side of things, not caring about what's happening in reality. But as a Rasta man, that's my responsibility to say, yo. Pay attention, no? Yeah. Well, I mean, to, you know? to steal your line, you know, I'm misrepresenting <laughs> it, but, you know, I think you said, like, I think we'll be fine if we comply, you know? So there's probably just a lot of people that are just going with it. Uh, yeah. But you're right. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. just so much that has, has you know, just shifted with that. And, oh, my God. Um, and less than, less than a decade. You know, less, that it is. Less, it just, less than a decade. Like, how much do we sign? Uh, I mean... It is. It's like literally that. I mean, it's, there's you know facial recognition of all of this oh my stuff, God, and, man. Yeah. Um, and you know, and like everything that is being tracked on Meta, Instagram, and Facebook, and you know, I mean, they're probably listening on our phones because that's how you get ads filled, you know, not, sent not, to us. You know, like, probably, so, yeah. bro. I, they are. I was, yes. Yes. Yeah. True. I was sitting in my space, and I was saying to the lady that I live with, I said, you know what? I think we should get some iPhones, you know, because this Android thing, yeah, they, 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 I don't have air, air drop on all the features of an iPhone. 
I'm not making this up, bro. Like within 20 minutes, I went to sit on my laptop to do some work, and there was an ad on my computer for for the iPhone Pro. Yeah. I, I eventually got it. Not because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I eventually got it because hey, there's an iPhone Pro here. Let me look on the specs. Oh, this yeah, will yeah. work. This will yeah. work. So yeah. they, they listen, man. Listen, man. Rastafari is not here to cause problems. And if and if and if we were ahead of our time in the 1970s, in the 1980s, in the in you know in the 19 early 1990s when Peter Tosh fight against apartheid in South Africa, you know when 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 Bob Marley spoke of love and unity and you know you know we Rastafari people have just always been ahead of their time, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's not that it's not that we're trying to to rake up and say let's 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 go let's go knock it out in gloves. That's not the point. The point is, there always have to be a group of people who are ringing the bell. Not whistleblowers, warners, mm -hmm. warner observers, not whistleblowers. We, you know, we, we're not doing this. I personally understand that there are, there are gains, there are gains to achieve with the work I do, especially that in the form of legacy. But it's, it's not to start a fight. It's to start mm -hmm. a conversation. Yeah. You know? And it's to say, yo, your 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 child is up, your your child is going through a certain situation right now. What 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 what's causing that? They don't go. The child hasn't gone out of the house all summer. That's not that's not our normal. That's not your normal. There was a sunlot or a grass field in your in your community that you used to run up and down on. Digital dystopia, bro. Mm -hmm. Virtual dystopia has caused our children to walk away from grass. Mm -hmm. It's a concern. If yeah. nobody else, if nobody else is saying it in the music, Rastafari takes on the charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's pay attention to what's going on, bro. Mm -hmm. Digital dystopia. I, I, I couldn't find a better name for it too. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, with, I guess what, what kind of comes to mind is, um, this this album i mean even just putting out an album uh, a lot of the tracks uh you know four or five minutes long you know like not necessarily that you kind of like bucked the trend of like what's happening now but was there any thought to that or any uh like yes uh, like level of kind of like confidence and just being like this is what i'm doing like this is the song and not you know just because there are a lot of people that will probably be like well we got to cut this it doesn't need to be 12 tracks it doesn't need to be we can cut the song down to two and a half to three minutes but it's like were you just like no the song is five minutes long there's so you know, i am, <laughs> like I am just I to am. buck this <laughs> you know this this what we're talking about in the digital world now you know yeah so i am privileged i am privileged to be a massage a, a therapeutic massage therapist in the state of rhode island and um in my practice i play music music is a significant part of my treatment process so okay. for example so for example um in the height of winter i play a lot of reggae a lot of dubs not not heavy dubs with um um with distortions but um simple 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 drum patterns with 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 you know like with with at the heart at the resting heart rate so you want to call you know akebeka rest his soul he called it biorhythm like it, it it's a, it's, oh, yeah, it's okay. so it's, it's bio reggae bio rhythm where it brings it brings the heart rate to a resting place the guitar sounds are, are are the tones are not harsh they're more rounded um i listen to a lot of dubs man a lot of dubs and these dubs are coming out of europe there is a german duo that just plays a rise bass and piano and and reggae rhythm yeah uh -huh. amazing stuff and then we can we can delve into like the traditional Chinese sounds, the traditional Japanese sound, the traditional um, Indian sounds. So I was listening to, when I decided to record this album, I was listening to a track and I, it, it started out easy. It builds, it tapers, go back to easy, build, tapers, and then it leaves. And it dawned on me like that track was like 15 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. And it felt right. Yeah, it felt right. 
Now, what three minutes and 30 seconds? Who came up with that standard? Why do we have a three minutes and 30 seconds songs? Because radio decided that's what the length of the song should have been mm -hmm. in that time and space. But can you not see 20 years later, we, are, we have a generation that only speaks in snaps? Yeah. yeah. There's a whole service called Snapchat. Yeah. And if, and if, you, don't, if, if you don't see it, it's gone in a certain time, you know? you know the, the carrot and the stick and whosoever is running after the carrot and then instagram stories facebook stories only 26 seconds you only get 55 minutes 55 seconds pardon me on on a on a, on a, on a facebook post or an instagram post it's all a game bro it's yeah. all a game this is part and parcel the digital dystopia in which we live um mass media universities places of higher learnings have 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 sold us out have sold us out to research us to know what our behavior patterns are and is corralling us they're they're corralling us so as a creator i just said to myself bro if my if if, if i'm cutting a song and it needs seven minutes so be it yeah and when you go to you know here, here's the funny thing you go to harry harry um uh, harry fox you go to harry fox so let's say you want to to do a track and you go to harry fox to buy mechanical rights if the song is over four minutes and 33 seconds you get more money you have to pay more money to to cut it you know oh really okay yeah yeah so the, the length of the song carries more value yeah the longer the song when you, when you go into mechanical rights and yeah. the biz and the business of music it has more value it, it, there's more opportunity for our chorus there's more opportunity for 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 open for open spaces with more opportunity for samples yeah. most of most of the tracks that are sampled in the hip-hop community have big intros have big instrumental intros have big instrumental breaks yeah you know so we, we so so we we became a part of the norm that corporate america was trying to standardize to feed a specific mindset yeah the internet blew up that man that blew up the internet blew up that that doesn't work anymore man it, yeah, it's yeah. That, that, the, the three minutes and 30 seconds it, it, you know that we, you're making disposable products man mm -hmm. versus versus something that's going to you have a young baby man you have a, a, a newborn and you put on bob marley one love by the time it finishes, that child falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check, out, check out the time on One Love, like the original cut. Check out the timing on it. It's longer yeah, than okay. three minutes, bro. Way longer. Yeah. It's, not, it's not 30 seconds. You cannot accomplish anything in 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So that, that was a choice. That was, that was really a choice. Cool. And, I'm, com cool. and I'm, coming, I'm coming out with a dub project where the songs are going to be between 7 and 15 minutes long nice because that's what it's supposed to do music is supposed to change your mind it's supposed yeah. to lift you up yeah. you can't do it in three minutes yeah you can't do it in three minutes bro no again you know again like the like the weight of this album uh it all uh, all of those pieces come together that you know this isn't um at least it didn't hit me and we're talking about it and it's true but it, this isn't like a light album that you can just kind of pop on and it just kind of like breeze through some songs and it's got some good you know the music is fantastic but this is there's a lot of content there's a lot you know it, it kind of it it pushed me to listen to it you know like it, it like it, it brought me in and wanted me to like to uh to hear this stuff and um and i mean that in like a, a perfectly amazing way like this is just no, a, man, a, a, I, I, a great listen, record it wasn't like oh it's a struggle to you know but it was just like this was something that was like i i'm i need to like listen to this more this is just it's it's a, a very important piece that you put together um yeah man so great like, albums great. great albums great albums tell a story there's mm -hmm. a recurring theme it's of high quality um and um cadence all of it matters you know just like just like a guy would construct a song you have to construct an album the same mm -hmm. way and um and then step out step out step the, the artists have to sometime to step out of his or her comfort zone to do something that someone or their his regular listener wouldn't even say wow did, did he just put it on the record you know yeah so yeah that, that that's 
to me, that's what a great album is. Yeah, I grew, I grew up, I grew up listening to Motown and those kind of music, bro. And those guys didn't spare creativity. Yeah, or you know, standards were high, very yeah. high. Yeah, 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 man. Stuff that come out of Abbey Road, stuff that come out of the great, the great studios of Jamaica, Channel One, you know, Studio One. Yeah, those guys didn't spare expense or time, man. Those guys, no. yeah, our creativity. They put it in there. So yeah, I'm, I'm just upholding. We are living in the dark and of the information age. We hustle under the guise of freedom in a them surveillance state. Just a number on a spreadsheet, consuming factors in a them marketplace. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll get back into some of the tracks in just a second. But while we're kind of talking about it, I'd love to just touch upon some of the studios that you worked with. Um, yes, you know, you yes. uh, did some stuff here in Rhode Island as well as Jamaica. So, um, yeah, can you just talk a little bit about uh, the recording process of this? And, you know, um, yeah, just, yeah. you know, shout out a few. It's the, a pleasure. You know, it's the, a pleasure to do that. that. It's a pleasure and an honor to do that. I first and foremost would 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 and you know what i'm gonna keep this positive i'm gonna keep this this section positive because it's important you know positive energy right now is important there's there's too much negative to go around i would like to say to the people who are listening to this remember rhode island rhode island is a special place rhode island is a special place brown university is not set up here because it's a joke mm -hmm. you know the school of design Rhode Island School of Design is not set up here because this place is a joke. And Johnson and Wales, if if a chef graduates from Johnson and Wales and go to Jamaica to any all-inclusive hotel that has fifteen hundred rooms, and say I graduated Johnson and Wales, he is going, he or she is going to get that job over anybody else. Rhode Island has got mm -hmm. that kind of power globally. Mm -hmm. The musicians in Rhode Island have the same kind of power but i don't think they understand what it means to be a musician who collaborates or break out a little scenes and come together we need to come together mm -hmm. yeah that's I, I i want to say that i want to say that about rhode island musicians we need to come together so the the issue with this the issues around me executive producing and producing an album in so many different studios including studios in jamaica is because i could not bring this quality album to fruition in rhode island solely mm -hmm. on rhode island style with rhode island personnel. yeah mm -hmm. so with that said i'm begging i'm begging rhode islanders musicians reggae musicians please let's come together we have a responsibility yeah we have quality here so I worked in 644 studio on Wickenden Street. Um, Matteo Odebashian started that studio. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's in the basement level of a building on Wickenden Street. 644 Wickenden Street. Go out and support him if you're recording music. I worked with Alex Caracciola, who is a young Italian dude from up in Worcester there. Come down and he works with Matteo. I cut, I cut most, of, most of the vocals on this album was cut in that studio on Wicked oh, cool. Street. And 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 we kept those vocals because the energy in the space was right. Yeah. 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 Um I want to big up Jin Job. Jin mm -hmm. Job has his studio in Patucket. He calls it Music Matters. It's on Central Street. Uh, Central Ave, sorry. And he he's very instrumental in 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 getting the drums ready, um, playing some bass, guiding the production on a few of the tracks ray Gennari did the bulk of the work on this project mm -hmm. yeah yeah make so it like so, yeah his name is a lot on the credit sheet <laughs> yeah and you know he and and deservingly so deservingly so because honestly ray Gennari was the only producer musician in rhode island who i who i reached out to who was open to doing the diligence okay yeah you know and and by diligence i mean selecting the right musician 
selecting selecting musicians who are not considered quote unquote reggae musicians select musicians from out of town from out of state to come mm -hmm. in and play it and play the parts for example the strings we wrote the strings in jamaica but Gennari arranged them and got a local musician to cut them oh, the yeah, horns yeah. the horns same thing we wrote the horns in jamaica you know come up with ideas keyboards come up here originary arrange them and cut them yeah um so yeah i want to take off my hat to originary on this project i want i want to tell you this if you want a good reggae project in rhode island right now reach out to originary at the raptorum of love in west kingstown every student need to work that's part and parcel why we're doing this music too and mm -hmm. we're, we're putting out this quality of music Rage Nari at the Rectorum of, of Love in West Kingstown. He has a big stake in this project, bro. Musically, a big stake. Cool. And we did a few tracks down in Jamaica in a little studio in Negril called The Ambassador of Choice. They, they, they're, they're what is called a dub plate studio that focuses on sound system, raw cuts, quick, ready to go. We brought full production in there. And, and got the work done there and and that's how we had access to like trevor mckenzie who is the bass player for barry salmon in the harmony house band um we got garfield gabe keyboard player in in capleton's um prophecy band he's the musical director for them and he was able to lend some you know lend some expertise and i was nice. also able to get local musicians musicians who play the beach who play the respective bars on the beach I was able to get them on the project and last but by no means least bro there's this guy down in jamaica his name is rohan dwyer he mm -hmm. mixed and mastered the majority of the track um mixahol mixaholic um, um music in kingston jamaica rohan dwyer he's not an easy guy to find however when he touches your project it's going to be magic mm -hmm. you know carol dexter who who is the who organizes um background vocals for Bujo Bantan. She is she is the champion voice you hear in the backgrounds. You know, Rohan Dwyer, you know, did nice, did, did, nice. did the brokering, the brokerage for all of that. Um so yeah, um it's mainly done in Rhode Island studios, you know. Only one studio that is not in Rhode Island I worked in and it's about Ambassador of Choice in Negril, um, Raptorium Records, the Raptorium of Love um 644 studio matthew odebashian jin jabat music matters yeah that's 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 how we got it yeah. done cool yeah Bo bouncing around trying to <laughs> rustle up the good energy you know yeah yeah, cool. man, yeah well, shout out to all them but yeah, uh, man, we did it man you know getting back to some of these tracks uh you know we talk about you know working at this you know studio in jamaica and going back there and writing a lot of the stuff you know the seventh track on this album where is home Oy. um you know uh would you like to talk about you know your 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 you know experience with that and your your take on uh that that particular song yeah i i uh, where is home where is home struck me when when I had some some bad experiences in Rhode Island and mm -hmm. um you know during the pandemic I just before the pandemic hit I had an apartment over on Bel Air Bel Air I think it's called Bel Air Ave off Hope Street um I had a third floor apartment over there and it was pretty expensive but we did what we did to maintain it in the pandemic the landlord asked me to leave like in the middle of the pandemic and i said why he says his lawyer advised him that i should leave and i said why she says well if if you don't leave now the government will mandate that you stay because you're a minority and i don't want that i want to deal with that your lease is up you have to go um wow oh yeah just and that, that was in the middle of the pandemic um when i moved to Pawtucket, when i moved to Pawtucket, i i i had some issues also and it, it was it was it was it was race related and you know i look at it to say i have the money to pay the rent i pay the rent i call rhode island home i've been living here for over a decade and um i said okay go back to jamaica 
and I ran into similar things because I'm no longer a full fledged Jamaican as per old norms. If you lived uh -huh. out of your, if you lived out of your community for a while, then you are a foreigner, and you know. So, where is the black man place? That's the first thing that came to my mind. You know, like where is the black man place, which end yeah. up being, which end up being the hook. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a it's it's you, you know you do you do you you you're damned and if you don't you're damnder. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, but. You know, it, where is home is literally saying, who is looking out for those who have been oppressed? Mm -hmm. Is the system looking out for us? No. Are we looking out for ourselves? No. So I'm hoping that this question can can stimulate some kind of introspection to say, where are you going to live, bro? You know, I don't see you on I don't see you on 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 Blackstone Boulevard on the walks. Where are you walking? You know, I'm a minority out on Blackstone Boulevard. So where, where are my people walking? Where do they live, mm -hmm. actually? You know, where do they live in Rhode Island? Mm -hmm. So that that is what stimulated that that tune is to say, yeah, man, where, where is my place? Where, where exactly am I to live? Mm -hmm. You know, is it where I was born? Does it matter if I'm black? You know, mm -hmm. do, I, do I need to move, go where my mother is? Or do I need to go where my father is? Where is home actually? And you can ask yourself that question too. Because mm -hmm. it's important, you know. It's important to find out where is home. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Um, <laughs> it, heavy is right. Is the project it, it... <laughs> it's it's heavy. It's good, you know, and, and you know, definitely um yeah, I mean it, it's it's something that yeah, I mean I, I haven't obviously had that experience, you know, as a white guy from suburban America. Um, I'm fully yeah. aware of all that stuff. Uh, yeah, man. But, yeah, man. But 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 this but this is it. If if we don't speak of our experiences mm -hmm. in a palatable way, how is it we are going to have change, bro? Yeah. My question is: When you the Rastafari of the day of the earlier days would burn room would send fire and brimstone and lightning as it was in Samasada Mangomara on Rome itself and I have come to the point to ask the question as a student of Rastafari when you're burned on Rome who is it you're going to change mm -hmm. what is it you're going to change this is about changing minds mm -hmm. it's really not about mass mass destruction mm -hmm. It's about changing minds, bro. Yeah. That's the reggae that I know. That's the reggae I want to produce. That's mm -hmm. the reggae I want to share with the world. I want to share a music that is stimulating positive change mm -hmm. through introspection. I don't mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I can say it any other way. That's my intent. We are conditioned to wait in there. So I break the chains. Yes. Question. Wait. going into the, the next track live up now mm. this uh at least to me was you know probably the you know most sonically kind of like upbeat song yeah um yeah. you know which we haven't really addressed you know so we're talking about a lot of these um really important topics these heavy topics but even just the overall like sound of this this album is pretty you know it, it aligns with that like this is yes. uh, it doesn't yes. have like this upbeat you know uh sound to it you know like like up, it's not you know, upstroke guitar you know it's it it's, kinda it's, has not that a, it's, 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 it's not a trick it's not a trick yeah yeah it's really um, not a trick it's it's uh, it's as real as it should be yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know but but this song you know live up now had you know again it was a little bit more upbeat had a little bit more of that like scott ish type feel if you yeah, want man. to do that yeah man yeah, um man. but you know then the first line suffering is an everyday thing uh <laughs> So, you hit with that. 
you know, it's like, here's a little bit of like, oh, it's just, you know, um, but again, it's, it's brilliant, you know? Um, uh, yeah, but the next line, is, you know, the next line is choose to walk within the light. Exactly. Exactly. That was going to get to that. Yeah. You know, so there's you that, know, it's just that reality of, again, that this is where we are, like where our, where our feet can be, but like, what are those, those choices, you know, can be, yeah, man. you know, always feel like the world is against us and fighting everything, which it, it, you know, can be, I mean, we were just talking about it in digital dystopia, like the world yeah. is kind of out, you know, it's focused on, we've got targets on us, you know, yes, like, just yes, like we're, yes. we're taking your, you know, like we're using your commodity as a human in the, the world we live in right now, but, mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. but we can either, you know, sit in that and, and, and sit in kind of the negativity or, or trying to kind of move towards that, that positivity. And obviously oh, we... it's way easier to, to say this right now. Um, but, uh, it's just like what, that realization what, what, that there's, if there's action, that positive can change, you know? Yes, so. my brother live up. now. suffering is an everyday thing, but choose to walk within the right and to be the light that makes others shine. Mm -hmm. It's a call to order, you know, bro. It's really a call to order. Mm -hmm. But while you're dancing, while you're dancing, live up now. Live up now is after I listen, after I listen to all the songs in the sequence. Because I recorded them in the sequence that's on the album, too, you know. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes, the man. Yes, the man. Wow. So while so while I while I got to while I got I wanted this project to be as real as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. So I looked at I looked at the respective elements, a chain of events, and make sure that, you know. When I got to live up now, yeah, man, the bass line too. The bass line, if you, it's opening. It's, you know, yeah. it makes, it makes you want to move something, you know, a toe, a finger, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something, man. Give clap so, to the toe, a finger. Come on, you know, he's giving everything to this album, you know, like move makes, a finger. It, it makes you want you know? to move yeah. something. Yeah. It makes yes, you want yeah, to yeah. move something, and 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 it's 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 like this positive reminder to say, live up, man, live up. Mm -hmm. What's yours will come. Just help those who help himself. Mm -hmm. It's an yeah. underscoring of that. Live yeah. up, live up, bro. Live up yeah. and, sh and share and share that song. Share that song with your friends and family. You can <laughs> even the, 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 Yeah. Yeah, it was created it was created as a sing along too, you know? Cool. Yeah, yeah. It was created as a sing along. You know, for a ska lover, for a reggae lover who can step over into the ska. And for a person who loves funk and rock and roll too. It's you. It's for everybody, man. Yeah. Live up. Live up now. Yeah. Choose to walk within the right and to be the light that makes others shine. I think it's um, a good idea. Suffering, suffering. It's an everyday thing. Choose to walk within the right and to be the light that makes others shine. Money. Of the problems, but be patient in the moment. Choose knowledge over vengeance, and members say, God, God, God. You know, the next track, number nine on this is Got What I Want. And we were kind of talking about this. Uh, you know, one of the, the topics is kind of addressing. Um, you know, living in a first world country, um, you know, you talk about running an independent business, um, you know, can you, uh, you know, I guess talk a little bit more about this, you know, it almost seemed that you were just, um, again, more introspective, uh, probably also just more personal. I mean, all these, like what you're talking about on this record is personal, but some of it is like personal experiences that you're sh trying to share with others. But this one is almost, you know, it, it seemed to hit me just, you know, knowing you from the other interview of, you know, your line of work and, and just trying to look at um, like just what life is trying to, to run a business and all of these other things that go on of like, how do you, you know, stop? How do you take a break? How do you, you know, um, yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. do and any of these things? Yeah, so from coming again, we try, we try, we try, we try to make songs where people can relate to, 
and and as, as as I got deeper into this project, you know, you check out the melodies and got what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, it it's it's it feels like a love song. The project needs a love needed a love song. I where I am in my life right now, it's very hard to write. Baby, I love you. You are the moon and stars. You <laughs> yeah. know, and I I if I could give you the world, I'll give it to you. All lies because people who have the world not not giving it away. But you know, when I found the melodies, forgot what I want. You know, it it was it was a joy. It was a joy because marijuana, herbs, ganj, blunt, lamb spread, pollyweed, whatever you want to call it, man. It has been under so much pressure, under so much scrutiny. So many have been persecuted. For all that, for, for, for so many years, especially people of color have been pressured. And I, over the last 10 years since I've been in the United States, I have watched dispensaries popped up all around us. You know, I've watched young kids in their mother's Subaru head into the dispensary with their mother's credit card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. That's what I want is paying homage to the Rasta man and the Rasta woman who, despite the pressure from the system, have never stopped growing the herbs, have never stopped supplying the herbs because they know that the working man is dependent on them. Okay. In Jamaica, in my culture, it's herbs is used as a gathering is using gatherings you stop at the little the, you're coming home from work you stop at the corner shop you're not there to do anything but to get a draw herbs get a piece of get a wrapping paper and you reason with the man who is next who's right beside you who had the same kind of day i can't find that in america mm -hmm. so the song is a little bit nostalgic too okay it's it's under it's under the whole thing of where is home to because i've been working hard no day off it's the measure of the man living in a first world country and self-employed when the work day is done in jamaica that's what we do we stop at the corner shop and get a draw something to bring you down from the mundane Something to set you up to go home to your family. Something to slow you down so you can walk into the house and step on a toy and not be ignorant and angry <laughs> about it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Herb, as a reggae man too, we always have to sing about herb because we know what herb do for we. We know, we know how herb help with to cope with the big issues. You know, first world problems are too much for third world people. But third world people may be in line and stay in line and stay focused if them have good herbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, man, that song right there, got what I want for is for all of my my herb people who know that we're not here to abuse herb. We're not here to to do wrongs after we deal with herb. We are using our herb to stay focused, stay calm, to find our center and to get closer to our purpose. Need something for my brain. I need something for my mates. I know what I want. You know, following up with that one, good vibration. Yeah, man. There's a lot more with, um, you know, I, again, one of those recurring themes was guiding children, you know, like just kind of that recognition of like what we do now, you know, as adults yeah. is like literally teaching our kids how to act um, or, you know, just that, that balance of living in the now, but being aware of the future, um, all of that kind of stuff. And it seems that this song was another one of those moments that you um 
you know, touched upon that and, uh, you know, coming together, uh, like, you know, yeah. this isn't like a solitary thing. I mean, no. obviously we can make our own changes and, but it's, it's more of like that. Um, the, the real change comes from when I'm doing this stuff, but we're all doing this together when, you know, we're all on that same yeah, plane and we're kind of coming together in yeah, that way man. and we're yeah, walking man. together arm in arm, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, can you so talk, I, you know, I, talk I, about I, that? So, so again, I will, I will go back to the issues, the issues I was having to put this album together mm -hmm. and it, and, and it's not, and it's, and it's the quality, the quality of project that we're, 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 we're talking about right now. You have attested to that. That is, it's, it's solid, you know, really and truly to find that good vibration. And the song is saying it, you know, let's break bread over conversation, formulate strategies for lifelong commitment, community. You know, if you see, the, I, I don't, the word buddy, when, when an American say, what's up, buddy? Oh, my buddy, John, you know, Jamaicans have always had a problem with it, you know, because it, it, it does, it doesn't, buddy doesn't come up the brethren. Okay. You, you dig? Sort of. Cause I call a lot of people buddy. I call well, my well, kids and be like, Hey, what's up, bud? How's it going? Well, like, yeah, well, what's up, bud? What's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I get it. I get it. you with you and your kids. You have your emotions that goes into that. Yeah. But when, but when I meet, when I meet a guy out at the, out at the, the event center where I go play music and he's like, what's up, buddy? You know, deep tone and he looks at me like I don't belong. I'm oh, like, okay. I say, I wish, I wish I had some brethren in here. Like some man we would us. It doesn't matter if you're Chinese, Japanese, you know, you're just calm. Yeah. You know, you're just calm and you're, you're like, yeah, bro. You know, even bro, even yeah. bro, you know, yeah. you give a phone, you know, yeah. good vibration, good vibration came. I had a very rough day with some musicians and it was at 644 Studios. I called up Alex and I asked him for a session and he came in and he put on the beat in the raw and when it rolled off, yeah, that's, that's, that's the energy that, that's the, the positive spin on that day after being mm -hmm. left out there waiting for so long i said i still need to go do this work mm -hmm. and that that good vibration come true and again good vibration is a, 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 a is a meditative sound it's, it's a slower type of reggae it's for everyone bro it's supposed mm -hmm. to cross cross the pond and cross the bridges and remind people that yes we can slow down we can be bredgins. Mm -hmm. We can be bredgins. Now we have recognized the blight. It's unreasonable to sit around and wait for change. Oh, it will take diligence. Corrections won't come by just having faith. In not this your life. All should come together. Now's the perfect time to work and make things better. In our this your life, we must come together. Unity will set things right. Make we find a good vibration. Yeah, the 11 track, kind of the, I mean, it's not the last track because you have. Uh, yeah, we brought it. But, yeah. Um, but, uh, the, this one angel of the night um, yeah again very cool feel to this you know has a little bit more of a you know 90s r&b hip-hop feel that you know, kind of came to me um yes. but yeah i mean uh, this one i mean they're, they're all interesting but this one was kind of interesting to me too just because it i uh was just trying to pick up on like who you're kind of talking like who was in in this conversation that you're having like who are you talking about like who you know like it, it just it was a very um intriguing uh story that you're kind of telling with this one so i, I guess i'm just kind of asking it just to kind of fill me in a my, little bit you my, know but, my, uh, my, my, yeah. <laughs> so the, the the mother energy the maternal energy in my culture is is the dominant energy okay uh yeah so a large percentage of the jamaican population grows is raised in, in a single parent home is always the mother 
Um, so, you know, we, my perspective on, on, on the feminine energy, you know, I, I, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird. Um, but, but it comes through in the form of like a previous track I released, um, she's a rebel, uh, oh, which, yeah, talk, okay. which, which talks about a young, a young woman who, um, wants to go to university, who wants to be educated and, and old, 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 old church tradition says, no, you need to have babies, um, because we're running a farm here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you want to go to university? You're crazy. And this girl just packed up and left and went to New York from Jamaica to New York because she wants to go to, you want to have higher education. Angel of the night. When, when I, when, when that idea came it, again, I know the project needed a love song. I couldn't get to a love song because, you know, I think, I think I like, I think I like see hurt more than I see happiness. Because I'm 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 a giver too, so I tend to lean more to where there's hurt. Angel of the Night speaks to a young woman who goes out to listen to the reggae music. She just wants to go out and have a good time. She's not looking for anybody to be with. She wants to have a good time. She has found her center somewhat and she's glowing. Mm -hmm. And a and a guy just feel like because she's glowing, he can go touch her. Or he can go promise her stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. She's out to have a good time because men have treated her badly before. She's not looking for anybody. Mm -hmm. she, she's a woman. She's in her element, you know. If you ever get her heart, don't you ever cause her pain, because she can be dangerous, you know. Mm -hmm. Her heart has been broken too many times before. The story is talking about a woman who has had it. With the craziness and the madness, and she just wants to be. Yeah. You know, it's it's my version of a love song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Again, it's hitting on all these like Yeah, she woman, wants like, to be. Things. She wants yeah. to be. It does it doesn't matter what's going on in on this planet right now. This woman yeah. is looking smashing, but she just wants the reggae man to play her a song, bro. She just wants to dance. Mm -hmm. leave her alone let her dance mm -hmm. don't offer her a drink she's fine yes yeah when the night is done she wants to go home and take care of her children yeah yeah you know not because she's out here looking fine doesn't mean <laughs> she wants you to talk to her yeah she has yeah. responsibility up at the house you know yeah yeah that's my love song bro yeah it's a weird love song is it but yeah if you ever get to her heart don't you ever ever cause her pain No, 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 no She'll be come and let you in Be your best friend But she can be dangerous Her heart has been broken Too many times before And then you do have the digital dystopia dub style. Um, yeah. So, I mean, obviously we just kind of touched on like how you just enjoy this, you know, like, like writing um, songs in the, in that, that style as well. Um, but I guess I'm just curious as to, to why that particular song, or if there's any like kind of thought that goes into um, how, how these things are worked out with the, uh, you know, because you've done this in the past as well of having, you know, different versions of, of your songs, you know. So um, what kind of goes into that as you're creating? It's 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 a strategic it's a strategic choice. Okay. And, and I and yeah, and I and I want I want this to be public knowledge. I want reggae people to look at this. Anybody who is doubling in reggae music, please, please try this. For every song that a creator put together. He or she has in reggae, he or she has the opportunity for derivatives, value added products, you know, from a business yeah. standpoint. I've been trying to sell this to producers in Rhode Island. It doesn't seem to be, be making a connection. For, for so digital dystopia, you will get an instrumental version. Mm -hmm. You will get a dub version. 
you have digital dystopia and i will feature a rhode island artist on that track mm -hmm. so you have a, you would have a feature on on so david to one digital dystopia becomes four yeah okay if 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 you're if you're a budding artist that has legacy in mind then you want to take advantage of the respective spaces that you can be played in mm -hmm. there are dub sessions all over europe where all they play is dub where oh, okay where, where the where the bass drops out and the drum is dominant where everything where all the accompaniments drops out and it's the drum and bass that's dominant there are a lot of effects um you know and then you have you have a person who wants to listen to reggae but they don't want to hear the heavy content but the mm -hmm. music is good you know so why not give them an instrumental version and if we are trying to build up reggae in in a specific zone territory why not have what feature the instrumentalist feature yeah feature a trumpeter feature some of a flatist feature a string section you know you know build build camaraderie through through the creation of music so the idea for having multiple 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 version of the same song is is because i wanted to one expand my catalog quickly yeah but with substance yes yeah and also create opportunities for for collaboration it's just, it's it's what i did with um future water the other side you know we mm -hmm. had a rhode island produced record and we had the flip side of it which would normally be the b side become the side where we we we, we feature artists feature instrumentalists yeah. yeah 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 smart that's <laughs> a good thing to uh it's community like it's it's community building man community yeah. building it's a part yeah. of the process no I, I mean i i love that stuff i love yeah pulling in other people um it's, yeah, it, it's definitely cool to uh, just see that and you know hopefully yeah continues to grow hopefully people listen to this and start you know taking your advice with that you know because it's yeah it's, well it's, you know. it's what I, it's what i will continue to do so yeah. if, if it takes off and become a rhode island thing then yeah hey, hey there's always a first guy yeah. I'm the first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice um, yeah man yeah yes, well bro. thanks thanks for talking about this uh oh, you man. know what do you have scheduled for the release so yeah again it comes out november 24th yes rastafari um, to be oh. available everywhere that you can stream. yes is it going yes, up on, yes. on Bandcamp or anything else like that? All or? of it, all of it. It's everywhere you can stream. Clatterbumbo is the is 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 the vibe. You find Clatterbumbo, you'll find his music. Um, we are presently taking the time to update every every social media outlet that we are handling. Mm -hmm. Bandcamp is in focus. The website is in focus. We are taking Facebook and Instagram very seriously. With anywhere the people are, mm -hmm. yeah. We want to we want to make sure that we are we are connecting the dots because we can do it. the technology of affords us the you know the luxury of connection so yeah we're taking our time and do that if you want to find katabumbo music man just put in katabumbo there's only one <laughs> yeah there's exactly. only one yeah there's only one katabumbo and it's yeah. that's the reason just yeah. get the spell get the spelling right and you'll find us perfect yeah yeah check that out now I'll, I'll link that stuff in the show notes as well to to your website i'm assuming you'll have like pre-save links and everywhere else that you can support it um do you have any uh release shows connected with this or i know that you uh mentioned that you're going to have you know physical cds for this as well that are going to be exclusively so, let shows yeah. fantastic so, so we are we are launching merchandise to people who've been following the movement since we started releasing 2019 and um so the release shows that we're planning we're going to be putting out a schedule soon and we're doing a lot of invitation based events oh, cool. you know where we're inviting 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 major players you included to come in and participate see the band um awesome. you get a t-shirt you get a copy of the music blah, blah 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 you know we're building right now when we travel outside of Rhode island we set up our tables and you know we're, we're looking to produce cds of make we rasta for for that for that reason um when summer roll around by the time summer rolls around 
you know, when Make Way Rasta would have settled, we, we will have the necessary pieces in place. We'll yeah. carry the music on jump drives. We at the events we are going to have download links that are firing. We'll do CDs um and merch. Vinyl, we'll see. If there's a demand for it, then we will we'll move to it. Yeah. But cool. But, yeah, but me right now we're in a sharing mood. You know, we're in a yeah. sharing mood. If you have the music, give it away. Give it to somebody, please. Yes. Yeah. It, we want it to be heard. We want the music to be heard. We want it. We want the message to carry. Yeah, 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 man. Well, again, I've said it a lot, but I, I agree. You know that this is a an album that needs to be heard. That you know, please, if you're listening to this, like, spend some time with this album. Um, you know, I've I talked to a lot of musicians, and there's a lot of great music that's coming out of our state. Um, but yours is really uh, for. The, the impact that this could have and, and what you're like teaching and, and motivating from this is just, it's, it's really um, an amazing thing to hear. And, and I hope it has, you know, some, some recognizable change from this stuff. So I appreciate everything that you're, that you're doing. Um, thank you so much for, for doing this interview. Virgin love and respect to you all the while, all the time. And you will not be forgotten ever. Thank you so much. It takes, it takes, it, it takes some guts to deal with this kind of music. Not many people want to touch it. And I'm really happy that you are the man you are. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. We are living in the dark and of the information age. We hustle under the guise of freedom in a them surveillance stage. Just a number on a spreadsheet Consuming factors in a them marketplace Oh, your problems with them paper chase Look, the city street has to see your house So too, the appliance lay in a your house Them now go find me down at them barbering place Man fully organic, have them dying for see me face Ah, what a pity Come on, people are caught up in that them smart city world Oh, what a pity And there's no getaway Still Rasta say Please be with you and your tribe And your tribe Please be with you on your journey As we navigate, as we try to live life, living life in a dem surveillance state. Oh, I guess we're gonna be alright. Oh, I guess we'll be alright. Gonna be alright. I think we'll be fine if we comply. People of the light learns to take our birthright, deceiving for profits, and I harvest the energy now you and I. Oh, self check me. Your phone, iPhone, taking selfies Self drunk me When master the rule from obscurity Please be with you on your track On your track Please be with you on the journey As we navigate, as we live life, live life in a dead surveillance.